Hey, today I'm going to work on cleaning up some old uh, tools that I picked up. You can see a, like an old ball peen hammer kind of rusted over. A couple of these uh, combination squares and another part of the combination square. And then an old uh, combination tool here. It's got pliers and an adjustable wrench and then a screwdriver on this end. So that's pretty cool, but it's got a little rust on it there. So I picked up this over at Harbor Freight. It was like 850 or something like that. And it's reusable, so you could use it and then pour it back in to the container. It shows in here where you can use it and you could pour it back in and use it again. So I'm going to give that a try. And let's first off, put all these in this and open this up so it gets the most exposure. I'll just layer them right in the bottom here. And open up this staple rest. Let's pour it in there. soaking in there. Okay. So we'll let that sit. I think it said to let it sit for um, 12, it says 12 to 24 hours. So I'll, I'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, here are the tools after about 12 hours. And I can see quite a bit of uh, the rest is coming off there. I haven't disturbed it at all, so this one still has quite a bit on it. And it's supposed to use it like a brush after after soaking, so um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this one over. It's exposed a little bit there. Let that get some more on there. This one right here, the top part of it. I'm turn that over. Otherwise, let's let it soak for another 12 hours and we'll see where it is. Okay, now this has been sitting here for about uh, a little more than 24 hours. And it's going to start taking them out. I'm going to put put some put a glove on. I'm not sure if this will harm my skin or maybe the stuff that came off of the with the rust. But I'll uh, just put some gloves on to be careful. Let's see. I'll start with this tool here. This is that combination tool. And it was mostly rusted around here. Looks like it got some of that off. And you could you could read it now pretty clearly here. It says diamond diamond alloy handyman Duluth USA on there. That, that looks pretty good. And this, yeah, now that's turning much easier. That was kind of gummed up. But now it looks like this uh, solution, the evapor evapor rust, got in there and cleaned that all off. I have a, some steel wool here and a brass brush that I was going to use to get in here. I was reading that brass doesn't uh, scratch steel. So that's why it's kind of a good choice if you have a brass brass brush. Get in there and break off some of the remaining rust. That looks pretty good. I'm 
Okay. So that's that one. Um, this little hammer, little ball peen hammer. It was pretty rusted up. Let's see. Looks a lot better now. Still has this white stuff on there. Looks like that'll all come off. Yep, that's just breaking right off of there. Let's see the handle. It's got a lot of grooves on on it. So you hit it with a steel wool. Yeah, looks looks pretty good. Fry it off. So that looks a lot better. Still got some of that white stuff on here. Yeah, with that stuff wouldn't need the white uh, paint or whatever was on here. It wouldn't even come off at all. But now that evapor rust solution just really broke into there. Okay, so then we got this adjustable square combo, adjustable square. Yeah. That looks a lot better. You could actually read here. It says Stanley number one one two two one slash two A USA. So that came off a lot. Got a lot of rust off of there. This can, looks pretty good. Didn't get in and mess up the, the, the level in there. That's good. The other side. Still a little dark. I might hit it with the steel wool here after it dries off. It looks like it did its job there. Okay. And the last one here was this dark one. Still pretty dark. Oh, it sure is coming off with the brass brush. It's just getting right in there. Now, whatever was dark on there is coming off. Rust, oxidation. See, now I can, yeah, I could read it now. The LSS Company, Athol, Massachusetts, USA, hardened number four. So I couldn't even read that before. So I'll probably let that dry off. This thing was black, but I think it's supposed to be black. So 
So I kind of just cleaned off, cleaned off any rust that was on there. You can see the, the uh, relief that's on there. Looks pretty good. Okay, so pretty happy with that. So there you go, uh, using the vapor rust for tools.